Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between shielded metal arc welding and submerged arc welding. Shielded metal arc welding is one fusion welding process where heat, or thermal energy, required for fusing the fain surfaces of the base plates is supplied by an electric arc. The arc is established between a consumable electrode and the base plates. Submerged arc welding is also one fusion welding process based on consumable electrode. Submerged arc welding employs wire electrode that is continuously fed from a spool. So, let's look into the basic differences between shielded metal arc welding and submerged arc welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1. Shielded metal arc welding employs coated electrode, which is coated by thick flux layer, whereas, submerged arc welding employs bare electrode, where a thin copper coating may be provided to avoid rusting. Number 2. In shielded metal arc welding, flux is not required to supply separately. It is available with the electrode as coating, whereas, in submerged arc welding, flux is required to supply from an external hopper. Number 3. In shielded metal arc welding, flux is not granular. It is in the form of thick soft coating on the electrode, whereas, in submerged arc welding, Flux is granular in shape. Number 4. In shielded metal arc welding, the arc remains exposed and visible to the welder during welding, whereas, in submerged arc welding, the arc remains submerged under thick layers of flux and slag. Arc remains hidden from appearance to the welder from outside. Number 5. In shielded metal arc welding, arc sustains in gaseous medium, whereas, in submerged arc welding, arc sustains within liquid medium or molten slag. Number 6. Shielded metal arc welding electrode is stick type and has short length, whereas, submerged arc welding employs very long continuous wire electrode. Number 7. In shielded metal arc welding, owing to short length, each electrode can be used for a small duration of welding. Thus frequent replacement of the electrode is required, whereas, due to continuous electrode, the submerged arc welding can be carried out continuously for a longer period without replacing the electrode. Number 8. In shielded metal arc welding, filler metal deposition rate is relatively low, whereas, submerged arc welding offers very high filler metal deposition rate. Number 9. Shielded metal arc welding is commonly carried out manually, so it is also called manual metal arc welding, whereas, submerged arc welding is a semi-automatic, sometimes fully automatic, process as the torch movement is mechanized. Number 10. In shielded metal arc welding, the arc length is required to adjust manually, whereas, in submerged arc welding, the arc length is adjusted automatically. Number 11. The shielded metal arc welding process is less productive and less economic due to frequent interruption for electrode changing, low penetration, and manual welding, whereas, Submerged arc welding is a productive and economic process. Number 12. Shielded metal arc welding has less number of equipment and accessories. So the setup is easily portable, whereas, the setup is not easily portable because of heavy and bulky equipment in submerged arc welding. Number 13. In shielded metal arc welding, a very thin layer of slag forms above the weld metal, whereas, relatively thick slag layer forms above the weld metal in submerged arc welding. Number 14. In shielded metal arc welding, there remains no unused flux after the completion of welding, whereas, in submerged arc welding major fraction, 50 to 90 percent, of the supplied flux remains unused. Such unused flux can be recovered and reused after the completion of welding. Number 15. Arc intensity and heat density are comparatively low in shielded metal arc welding. Accordingly, it provides limited penetration, usually limited to 3.5 mm, whereas, arc intensity and heat density are much higher in submerged arc welding. It can fetch deeper penetration, usually up to 12 mm. Number 16. In shielded metal arc welding. Edge preparation is mandatorily required when component thickness is higher than 3.0 mm, whereas, in submerged arc welding, no edge preparation is desired up to component thickness of 10 mm. Number 17. Weld spatter is inherent in shielded metal arc welding process. Spatter splashing causes loss of costly filler metal, whereas, submerged arc welding is free from spatter generation. 
number 18, unused end, 40 to 50 millimeters, of every electrode is discarded in shielded metal arc welding. Thus excessive wastage of the costly electrode metal occurs, whereas, no such wastage happens in submerged arc welding owing to continuous electrode. Number 19, Shielded metal arc welding can be applied for a wide variety of welding locations and configurations, whereas, submerged arc welding is only suitable for flat down hand position. In all other positions, the granular flux falls automatically under gravity. And, difference number 20, strict personal protection are required to avoid injury and other health hazard in shielded metal arc welding, whereas, Protection requirement is relatively less strict as the arc remains buried in submerged arc welding.